in earnings, India's largest uh, public sector bank, SBI, declared numbers, saw its steepest quarterly profit fall in over two years. Bad loans also continue to rise as Shell has those numbers. That's right. So when you're looking at SBI numbers, the company's profits have gone and fallen by a good 35%. Uh, the major reason for this is that uh, the company's uh, profits from the treasury side and uh, from the wholesale operations, both these have fallen quite significantly. Uh, profits coming in from the wholesale operations have fallen by a good 48%. The company's profits from uh, the treasury operations have fallen by a good 99%. They've come in at just 17 crore. So that's how the profit numbers come in, uh, uh, come in slightly lesser than what uh, the street was anticipating. Having said that, uh, the company's net interest income has come in pretty much in line with what the street was anticipating. The number is close to 12,252 crore. But the one thing that the street was really watching out for was uh, the asset quality, which has been largely stable. So although you will say th see that uh, on a, a quarter and quarter basis, it's gone up slightly, uh, at least the uh, uh, NPAs, uh, but uh, pretty much uh, stable. So let's take a look at them. Uh, the company's uh, the gross NPA as a percentage are at 5.64% versus 5.56%. So just an increase of uh, less than uh, 10 basis points. Also, when you look at net NPAs, they've got it in, come in at 2.9% versus 2.83%. So uh, an increase of close to 7 basis points. Also, provisions uh, in general are up uh, by 6%. The number is at uh, 3,028 crore. So overall, asset quality has been stable. And that's why uh, the stock also has been pretty much uh, on the stable side for most of the part of today's trading session. SBI Chairman Arundhati Bhattacharya said the lender's earnings capacity continues uh, unimpaired. We are all going through very challenging uh, economic scenario. Having said that, I believe that this bank, because it has a diverse exposure across all the segments in the economy, that we are trying to do a job as well as we can and to that extent I think today's results will show that our earning capacity remains unimpaired. Of course there are challenges, there are challenges on account of NPAs, there are challenges which have to be met by further productivity gains, by more leveraging of IT and better resources management.